And now we are on to the Yellow Comet story arc. Don't lose the missile silos. What are the conditions in this region, Sonia? Hey, what's that danger? Sound the alarm. Oh, father, calm down. That's no danger to us. Those are the missile silos we installed for our protection with those our country's self-defense network is perfect. Hmm, attacking from afar is not to my liking, but at times it's unavoidable. While we await the enemy, instruct me in the use of these silos. What? The enemy is here? Impossible! It can't be! My intel reported no enemy troops in this region. The silos, they're unguarded. The enemy is trying to take them. Don't worry, Sonia. I will go. But, but, what if the enemy reaches them first? You'll be... I am the leader of this country. I shall not fail in my duty. Move out. Canby's forces ride. Silo Scramble Father, listen. The missile silos can only be operated by infantry or mech units. If you reach them first, you'll be able to launch a single missile. Good enough on the tutorial, I'd say. It's finally time to try out Canby in the new game. His Super CO power is called Samurai Spirit, and it has an even greater attack boost than his CO power morale boost. Interestingly enough, Samurai Spirit also adds another twist in that when it's not your turn, all of your remaining units have a ridiculously boosted counterattack bonus. Recall that Canby's units are the statistically best, however they're the most expensive to produce as well. So it will actually take us two days to build an APC and an infantry, however that is our number one goal to get an infantry to the center island and take control of that. Naval units are essentially pointless in this map. I would recommend only sticking to building up an army of tanks and you can very quickly overpower flak. I don't believe it. They were stronger than me. Must find a way to escape. The enemy has been routed. I'm sorry, father. I almost destroyed us all. What? Your silos? Don't be ridiculous, Sonia. It is because of those silos that we won here today. Father, there's no rest for the weary. Battle awaits, and we must ride forth to meet it. Mission complete. 99 speed. Yes. Date. This level is horrible on hard mode. Where are the supplies we've plundered? They're en route to the factory even as we speak, sir. So quickly excellent. <laughs> Our plans are moving right on schedule, eh? Even so, what a beautiful sea gazing upon it fills me with an overwhelming desire to see it all destroyed. We're under attack, it's Yellow Comet. So much for me time and tender thoughts. Send out the order for reinforcements. Prepare for battle. This is difficult terrain. The land routes are so narrow. Even if we move in numbers, we're sure to take heavy casualties. Hmm, I think I'll take a crack at it. Sensi? Just sit back and watch. We'll see if my air units can't do some good. Even us old folks like to help out now and again. Sensi's return. Get to check out his CO power for the first time in the game. What have we here? Have they run out of beds in Yellow Comet's infirmaries? So you're the black hole, eh? What do you want here? I have no reason to tell you, old man. In time, the entire world will kneel at our feet. Any who dare stand in our way will be ground beneath our heels. Oh, can't have that now, can we? I don't like war. It's tiring. But someone's got to stop you. Let me tell you a little secret. Did you know that when you join two damaged units together and they're com- Blah, 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 blah. Tutorial. 
And here is another brand new CO that we can test out for the first time, Sensi. His CO power is Copter Command, very similar to his Super CO attack power, which is called Airborne Assault. When you use these powers, every single city that you own, it will spawn either an infantry or a mech, depending if you use the CO or the Super CO power. All of these units have 9 HP. You might wonder why they are 9 HP instead of 10 HP, but remember there is an in-game mechanic that if you combine units and their combined HP totals over 10, you actually get the remaining difference back in money. This particular map is a great pain, but we want to fly an infantry over with a T-copter and first capture the base on the center peninsula. We can then quickly capture the airport after this, and I would say we have the battle in hand at that point, however it's very easy to get bogged down in this level because you won't necessarily know where the enemy units are, there's lots of RNG that can occur. So unless you want to save scum your way through the map, which I chose not to do here, typically you're going to lose a lot of units and take a lot of time before you can completely advance and either win by route or capturing the headquarters. Let's get out of this level. You, you're an old man. For you have defeated me. Who, who are you? Sensei, you did it! You are victorious! Hmm? I am? Oh, that's nice. Wait, now I remember. It was in the reports this country once boasted a CEO who was said to be unbeatable. A man whom everyone feared. Impossible. It couldn't be. Who? Me? Uh, today was unlucky. A bad day. We'll meet again, old. This is not finished. Seem to have pulled through in one piece. Sonia, are you alright? Sensi? You were unbeatable? Everyone feared you? Who? Me? Oh, that's so long ago, I'd almost forgotten. There might be, have been a rumor of that nature at some point, but come now, there are battles yet to be fought. Let's go. Yes, yes, sir. Mission complete. Ugly victories are still victories. Alright, next is another Secret Lab mission, Showstopper. Are you sure the enemy is here? Yes, somewhere. My report says that eek. Sonia, are you alright? Ouch, I just fell down. Please stop overreacting. But I'm worried. If anything ever happened to you, I don't know what I would do. I knew it. You should be in the rear. It's much safer there. Oh. I am a Yellow Comet CEO. I can handle this responsibility. I will prove it to you. But Sonia, I... Wait. Father, look at that. Hmm? That... that's... A huge enemy stronghold! When did that get there? How dare they build that monstrosity on our sacred soil. It is time to clean the rust from my blade. Patience, Father. First we need to reconnoiter. But... Intel is the most important part of combat. Rushing blindly to war just increases your casualties. Leave this to me. Never. It is too dangerous. I think you should let her go. Sensi, I don't. Sonia is a respected CO in the Yellow Comet Army. Believe in your daughter, Kangby. It's the right thing to do. Hmm. Sonia, are you truly ready for this? 100%. I'm your daughter, aren't I? I'll prove I'm worthy to command. How to capture that giant fortress. Smash the eight cannons. Blah blah blah. Tutorial. Blah blah blah. Heh heh. It seems that this terrain has our friends in a quandary. Not that it matters. Whatever they decide to do, they can only fail. CO Adder of the Black Hole Army, I presume? Am I too old for you? Or is it because I'm a girl that you don't want me? I should have known Black Hole was behind this. This fortress was built on the strength of the Black Hole Nation. It will never fall to the likes of Yellow Comet. Once I've taken care of things here, I must destroy this map. It wouldn't do to have these fools showing up on our hidden lab. Now then, let's see what skills this foe possess. So we finally get to see Sonya, and honestly it's pretty sad we only have to use her twice in two Fog of War missions, and then beyond that she is essentially pointless. In fact, in any level that does not feature Fog of War, unfortunately, the very sad thing is her CO powers are essentially useless. In this game she has Enhanced Vision and Counter Break, which essentially allow her to see more and sometimes even in woods. 
I wish that intelligent systems would have made her character better or had some sort of gimmick or advantage besides just the fog of war advantage. Essentially the keys to victory here, we can get away with making lots of infantry units to make a quick capture grab of the closest properties. However, as soon as we get this done, we will want to build some anti-air units as we will be getting attacked by an enemy bomber. And of course, the enemy army will converge on us with tanks that would be able to take out our anti-air units, and so therefore we then need to build out a few tanks. Once we are able to squelch this initial rush, however, we essentially have the battle in hand once we can capture the right-hand side of the map that contains the two seaports as well as the base. It's almost pointless to build any sea units on the North Sea, however on the Southern Sea, one battleship is usually sufficient to help us have that extra indirect advantage and take out a few enemy land units. The most important thing to do before we destroy the eight cannons and thus end the mission is capture a property that contains a secret lab map. It's pictured here, a city that is actually to the left of the cannons. Sonia's land units are not that powerful, and so the best way to take out the cannons are to use the indirect fire of the artilleries and missile units. The disadvantage is these units are a bit slow, so it does take some work to get them into position and then bomb away the cannons. What? It can't be! Our beautiful fortress! We were unlucky, nothing more, and so for now we must retreat. Phew, we won. Somehow, we won. Sonia. Father, did you observe the battle? I did. Those were dangerous tactics you employed, daughter. However, I was mistaken. You were the perfect CO to fight this fight. Father. However, this war is going to become more dangerous and more violent. You must never let your guard down. Do you understand, Sonia? Yes, sir, I do. Mission complete. Tad bit on the slow side. This level. Commander Adder, the laser cannon has been deployed as you ordered. Very well. Adder, how are you planning on using it up on that mountain? Quite simply, really. I'm going to lure the enemy in and fire. What makes you think they'll come all the way out here? I'm going to lay siege to their cities. If they don't come, I'll tell the world they permitted their cities be taken. Either way, we can't lose. Hmm. More importantly, did you deploy that infantry as I requested? Put them just where you said. They're pretty far from the city. Is that okay? Yes, that's fine. March them along slowly. They're merely bait for the enemy. Wouldn't want them capturing those cities too quickly. Heh <laughs> heh Duty and honor. Father, hold your attack. Why, Sonia? The Black Hole Army is about to lay siege to our cities. It's a trap. They're trying to lure us in. But we can't just sit here. Why not? That city isn't at all important, strategically speaking. Sonia, what are you? What are we? What are we? We're CEOs in the Yellow Comet Army. Correct, and CEOs do not sit idly by and watch their people be destroyed, even if it's a trap, even if it's not strategically important. That's... We are CEOs. It is our job to protect the people of Yellow Comet. Am I wrong? No, Father, I understand. Just be careful. I'm going to see if I can unravel this trap. Let me guess, like these laser beams shoot. And all I gotta do is like, I already see this. So I don't need your tutorial, charity tutorials. Even though this level is an absolute nightmare on the advanced mode campaign, it's honestly not that bad on the normal difficulty. We do lose if all 10 cities are captured, so you might think a veritable goal is to wipe out the enemy's 6 infantry units. Typically it's very difficult to rush all the way there because the laser cannons are placed so that any units parked on the road 
will be damaged. So first we want to try to get all of our artilleries or missiles in range and destroy those lasers as fast as possible so that we can utilize the fast moving conditions of the road. Once we get to the first bridge, that is the true bottleneck in which we're going to face off with the majority of Adder's forces here. He blocks our way and his infantry units slowly capture. So we have to punch through something so that we can either start attacking his infantry and defeating them or send our own infantry through and start reclaiming the cities that have already been captured. A little bit of a wrinkle in this, remember Adder's CO and Super CO power give his units one or two extra steps and sometimes if we're not paying attention or not being careful can throw a lot of things off by suddenly having things that are currently parked in safe spots be vulnerable to attack. The enemy has no headquarters so the only way for us to win is to destroy all of the enemy units. Bad news, Adder, our troops got beat. Yes, those yellow comet COs aren't bad at all, are they? We've just lost two laser cannons. Why ain't you more mad? They were merely tools. If necessary, we can build more. Yeah, I guess so. More importantly, how are we going to handle things from here on in? For now, let's retreat to the factory and redraw our battle plans. This war is far from over. Father, it appears that the enemy has withdrawn from the cities. Is that so? Yes, I visited one of them myself. They gave me a message for you. Thank you for saving us. It made me think, what if we hadn't entered the enemy's trap? What would have happened to all the people living in those cities? The safety of all of Yellow Comet has been entrusted to us, which means we sometimes have to make painful decisions. We must always protect our citizens, regardless of the danger we face. I understand that now. Mission complete. Just not fast enough, but S ranked, baby. I really love this level here. Maybe my fourth favorite of the entire game. Peace treaty? Did Black Hole really suggest that we form a lasting peace with them? So it would seem, Doctor. Our consecutive victories have taken their toll on their army. They're proposing a peace treaty that is favorable to Yellow Comet. Hmm, how do you intend to respond, Canby? Father, it's a trap. It must be. You must ignore it. I admit the possibility that this might all be a trap. However, I intend to meet with them and hear their proposal. Father, you mustn't. I will not raise my sword against one who has thrown his down. That is not the way of the samurai. This is the location we agreed on. There's no one here. It must be a trap. No, wait, there's someone there. We came as promised, Adder. I would hear your plan for peace. Three. What? Two. That... what? That isn't Adder, it's a dummy! No, everyone retreat! Zero. <laughs> right on schedule. The road has been cleared of all obstacles. A leisurely march to the enemy HQ would seem to be in order. Hate to tell you this, Sonny, but that's not going to happen. Yes, so you survived. It matters not. You're too late. Our preparations are complete. This pipe is the route by which materials are transported to our factory. It's also an impenetrable, indestructible wall. So why don't you twiddle your thumbs or something while I go and capture your HQ? <laughs> There's no scheme to base for these scoundrels. <laughs> base? It's not base, it's brilliant. Now out of my way, you senile old fool. I have no time to spare for you. You may watch, though, while I claim my prize. Foul play. 
Speaking of chickens... Sensei, listen. It's as Adder said, the pipe is indestructible. However, if we concentrate our fire on the scene, we might be able to open a hole in it that will allow our units to pass through. Hmm, well then, let's give it a shot. What are you attempting to prove? There's no way that you can turn the tables. It's too late. This takes me back. Compared to the battles of old, this is nothing but a skirmish. Shall we get started then? Listen to me, our goal is to destroy the three mini cans. If we can take care of them, the foe will lose heart. Move out. In this level, we have a massive air force that unfortunately is blocked off from our headquarters by four pipelines and therefore four pipe seams. It should be immediately obvious that we want to break through these pipeline seams to be able to get some air support to our headquarters before we are absolutely overwhelmed by the enemy army. However, you might also notice on the right hand side of the map there are only two infantry. If we make it a goal to take out these two infantry units, our life becomes infinitely easier. If we let those infantry survive, they can eventually capture the airport and use the missiles, which makes our life absolutely miserable. We can use the bombers to begin blowing up the seams, however, unfortunately, it will take Sensi two days, even with a full health bomber, to break one seam. From the headquarters side, we can use the mid-tank and artillery units to be able to start doing what we can to break open the seams from the north side as well. Additionally, we want to build some infantry units at the headquarters as that's the closest area to be able to send them down to capture the base and airport under the first pipe seam. I would say the map is in hand as soon as we can get our air units to our headquarters at which point then we can even start wreaking havoc on the right hand side of the map just for some power points. Interestingly enough, you might also notice that Sensi possesses some cities on the very top right of the map, and so therefore if we use our Super CO power, which eventually we will be able to, we will have mech units right there to be able to take out the northernmost part anti-air missiles and also missiles. Our goal is to only take out the three cannons, so we don't actually have to win by route. And there it is. Our mini cannons have been destroyed. All of them? There's been some sort of mistake. Under these conditions, there's no way we should have lost. Now listen here, Adder. You should really try hard to avoid making me angry. What? What did you do? I'm an old man. I'm not looking for a fight. I want nothing more than to relax and bake my bones in the sun. So I'm warning you, stop now while you still can. If not, I don't think I'll be able to restrain myself. Hiss. Wow, he sure left in a hurry. Vintage Sensei, well done. Well done indeed. Mission complete. Ten days, was it? Smoked it. Bam! <laughs>